Loss of smell and loss of taste are recognized as one of the core symptoms of the coronavirus infection. National Health Service of England has advised that anyone who experiences the loss of smell and taste should isolate together with the household and be tested. A study has mentioned that 10% of the COVID-19 patients with loss of smell and taste never get their senses back. Let's find out more with me, Dr. Ravinder Tamang. I'm very thankful for all the love and trust that have showed me. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and keep watching. We test and smell things because the olfactory or the other molecules and the test molecules that are present in the foods are captured by the receptors in the nose and the mouth. The receptors convey these signals to the respective nerves and then to the brain. It's in the brain where these smell and test molecules signals are identified and made us available in the different types of test and smell we know. As an adult human, we have 350 olfactory receptors of types that helps us to distinguish approximately 10,000 different types of smell. Similarly, we have 10,000 different test spots in our oral cavity that helps us to distinguish five different types of tests. That is sweet, salty, sour, bitter, and umami. How common is loss of smell and loss of taste in COVID-19 disease? Up to 80% of the people who test positive for the COVID-19 have subjective complaint of the loss of smell and loss of taste. This may rise with the objective test carried out on the patients. Study has mentioned that around 40% of the COVID-19 patients have the loss of smell and loss of taste as their first symptom or the only symptoms as their presentation. Majority of the people first notice as their problem is a loss of smell in case of COVID-19 disease. But because loss of smell has a huge impact and is necessary for the test of different flavors, loss of taste occurs consequently. What to do if you have developed loss of smell and loss of taste? Should you self-isolate? National Health Service of the England has clearly outlined that any people who develop loss of smell and loss of taste should self-isolate and be tested. One of the potential negative impact of addition of acute loss of smell and taste in the list of symptoms that indicate self-isolation is the potential number of false positive cases. Because the olfactory disorder including acute anosmia frequently occur with the common colds and influenza. So there are likely to be many people who will display symptoms but do not have the coronavirus. When do the lost sense of smell and taste recover? A study mentioned that 90% of the COVID-19 patients who developed loss of smell and taste got recovered or improved within a one month. However, the loss of smell and taste may not come back. The duration for the recovery of the symptoms depends upon the severity and the damage done to the underlying nerves. The severe the symptoms, longer is the duration for the recovery. The reason behind this is that if the coronavirus only affects the cells lining the nasal cavity, the recovery is early. However, if the damage is done to the underlying nerves, it takes longer duration and months. That's because the nerves take time to repair and regenerate. And for the COVID-19 patients who never get their lost smell and taste, it has been hypothesized that the coronavirus might cause the widespread damage to the sensory nerves or the central damage. That means the damage to the brain. What to do if you have developed loss of smell and loss of taste? The acute case of the loss of smell and loss of taste is because of the nasal congestion, nasal discharge and the nasal obstruction. So the treatment is aimed at decreasing the inflammation in the nasal cavity. So this involves the stimulation that can be carried out two to four times a day depending upon the severity. Number two, use of the nasal decongestants like the pseudoephedrine or use of the nasal drops that is the oxymetazoline drop or nasal saline drop if there is nasal obstruction. For extended cases of the loss of smell and taste, we have to do the smell training. This training has been demonstrated to benefit the patients with loss of smell and taste post-viral infection. It's not a cure, but a way of amplifying the recovery. Every time you do this procedure, you are, uh, you are sensitizing the olfactory nerves that the nerves smell. This training involves the use of the standard kit that contains the rose oil, lemon oil, clove oil, and the eucalyptus oil. And the method we have to do is that we have to open a jar, sniff it for a 20 second, close the jar, take a few deep breath, then move on to the next jar. During this procedure, it's important that you totally concentrate on what you're doing and think of the smell you would smell if you had the sense of smell. 
For the benefit, we have to do this smell training twice a day for the duration of four months at least. You can also try the different foods that are rich in vitamin B12 and folate that helps the nerve to repair and regenerate. This includes the fish, meat, poultry, milk and milk products. I hope you liked the video. If you want more such videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to get notified every time I post a video.